like to call to order the regular meeting of the Bowling Green Board of Commissioners for January 5th, 2016. I invite you to stand if you choose, and Commissioner Perigin will introduce our special guest. I'd like to introduce the Coppinger family, especially my good friend Carrington Coppinger, who is a fifth grader at McNeil Elementary School, um, and she is going to lead us in a prayer and the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Harrington, you're going to be a very strong leader for our community. Thank Good you. Job. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, please call the roll. Commissioner Perigen? Here. Commissioner Williams? Here. Commissioner Denning? Yes. Commissioner Hill? Here. Mayor Wilkerson? Here. Uh, awards and recognitions, Mr. Ufebo. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, today I'd like to acknowledge uh, the budget team. We received the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award for the third year in a row, which is fourth year, thank you, Katie, in the row uh, for the work we did in presenting the budget to you and the citizens of Bowling Green. As you know, we have a team approach. I want to thank Katie. Uh, Jeff, uh, Michael Grubbs, uh, Aaron Blue, and Sean Weeks, as well as all department uh, heads and employees, as well as the commission for helping us to earn this award. So uh, we will put it on this uh, beautiful plaque and, and display it in, in the entrance of City Hall. So. Uh, all right, are there any other recognitions? Do we have uh, comments tonight? Yes, uh, there'll be a need for an executive session. Kate, Kate, what will be the reason? Pursuant to KRS 61810C for discussions of proposed and pending litigation on behalf of the city of Bowling Green. So move. Second. By Hill, second. By Williams, any discussion? Please call the roll. Erigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Oh, no, Mayor, thank you. Approval of the minutes for the regular meeting on December 15, 2015. So moved. Second. Motion by Hill, second by Perigen. Is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Perigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Uh, we provide an opportunity for public comments uh, at our regular meetings. Uh, seeing no one wanting to step forward, we'll go on to the municipal order 2016, number one. Municipal order approving the probationary appointment of Katja Ford to the position of animal control officer in the Neighborhood and Community Services Department. So move. Second. By Hill, second by Denning. Mr. DeFibbo. Thank you, Mayor. A number of years ago, uh, Neighborhood and Community Services Department took over the function of uh, animal control with, within our, our community. Uh, we've been uh, working our way uh, through various personnel changes, and tonight we're here to uh, recommend to you the appointment of Katja Ford uh, to the position of animal control officer. Just want to share a few facts. There was 156 people who showed an interest in being animal control officer for the, the city of Bowling Green. It's, as you can imagine, it was quite a vetting process. Uh, we had, uh, we interviewed eight people and we're proud tonight to recommend uh, Ms. Ford. Uh, we're lucky and blessed because she has two years existing experience with the city of uh, Glasgow. So we're happy to have her and I believe uh, Katja is here. Uh, maybe she could stand. Congratulations, we look forward to working with you. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Erigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Next is Municipal Order 2016, number two. Municipal Order approving the probationary appointment of C. Cameron Levis to the position of Special Operations, Special Populations Instructor in the Parks and Recreation Department. So move. Second. 
Dr. Hill, second. A little while back, uh, the incumbent in the position of uh, special POPs coordinator resigned, and we backfilled that position uh, with, uh, from the department with, uh, by a lady named Holly Vincent. That created a, a vacancy in, in the position of uh, special POPs in, instruction, instructor. Uh, we went out and, and looked at those who had applied for the coordinating position and noticed within the pool of applicants we had uh, a person who we felt could uh, fill this position. I, I want to illustrate for you the passion involved with this person. If you look at the, the packet uh, that's provided to you, page six of nine of the employment application, I urge you to read his, his reason why he wants the job. I, uh, it's remarkable for a young person. It reminds us that uh, we were all young once, so it, it's nice. Um, so we're here tonight to recommend Cameron uh, Levis. I, I believe he's here. Congratulations. Any other comments or questions? Another good hire. Please call the roll. Harrigan? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Thank you both. Municipal Order 2016, number three. Municipal order approving the appointment of Phil Lanesh to the Greenways Commission of Bowling Green in Warren County. So moved. Second. Motion by Hill, second by Williams. This is a appointment replacing the expiring term of uh, Ed Martin, who will be, understand, moving out of town. So we look forward to working with Mr. Lanesh as well. I don't believe he's here tonight. So any comments or questions? Please call the roll. Arigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Municipal Order 2016, number four. Municipal Order approving the reappointment of Michael Holian to the City of Bowling Green Board of Ethics. So moved. Second. Motion by Denny and second by Hill. Uh, this is a reappointment. Chaplain Holian also serves us in the uh, police department as a volunteer and is serving on our applicant, on our, excuse me, our ethics board as well. So any comments or questions, please call the roll. Arigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Municipal Order 2016, number five. Municipal Order authorizing and accepting bid number 2016-25 for police vehicle equipment from on-duty depot of Owensboro, Kentucky, law enforcement supply of Marietta, Georgia, and Truckers Lighthouse of Nashville, Tennessee, in the total amount of $90,703.84. Second. Motion by Hill, second by Williams. Mr. DeFebo. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we have 16 new police cars uh, that come in uh, uh, basically un unfitted for police duty, and we have to outfit them with the required uh, police apparatus, including cages and communication gear. We went out to bid uh, to spend roughly $91,000 to outfit 16 vehicles. There's actually 16 different apparatuses that go into each vehicle. Uh, we divided the, the bid, uh, and we have three uh, responsible re respondents that we will uh, pick and choose from depending on price and availability of, of, the, of the products that we need. Uh, the total bid is 90703 for all what we need for these 16 vehicles. I'll answer questions. I do appreciate the, the bidding process where you, you don't lump it all together, where you, you are able to select the lowest price from each category so we get the best price and still get good equipment. So please call the roll. Arigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Municipal Order 2016, number six. Municipal Order Amending, Municipal Order Number 2015-186 to rescind the award approving bid number 2016-15 related to the purchase of vehicles package C from Sam Swope Auto Group of Louisville, Kentucky in the amount of $46,860.72 and to authorize the award of package C to the next lowest <coughs> bidder, Jim Johnson Nissan of Bowling Green, Kentucky in the amount of $48,956. Second. Motion by Hill, second by Denning. Mr. Febo. Thank you, Mayor. And Municipal Order 215-186, you authorize us to purchase two new Dodge Journeys. 
uh, from Sam Swope of, of Louisville. In our discussions with staff with them, we learned that they could not uh, deliver the vehicles in, in a reasonable time, and it could take up, up to uh, eight months. We felt that was unacceptable. Uh, as you'll notice in your packet, Mr. Swope uh, agreed that that was quite a long time for the stretch out the process, has dropped his bid, uh, thus making the next lower bidder, uh, Jim Johnson uh, Nissan, uh, for the purchase of, of Rogues. Uh, uh, we're happy with, with that product, and uh, Marilyn uh, Perigen is here as well as Chris Crow. Have you any questions? Comments or questions? Mayor, I may have to comment here because I'll have to abstain from this because I'm, that's my employer. I understand. Anyone else? Please call the roll. Arigen? Yes. Williams? Abstain. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Municipal Order 2016, number 7. Municipal Order amending Municipal Order number 2015-169 to rescind the award approving bid number 2016-05 related to the purchase of a specialized sign truck and amending municipal order number 2015-186 to rescind the award approving bid number 2016-15 related to the purchase of vehicles package B from Gillyhide Auto Group of Glasgow, Kentucky, authorizing the cooperative purchase with Crossroads Ford of Frankfort, Kentucky under Kentucky State Pricing Contract for the purchase of three trucks in the amount not to exceed 101 $111,951.80, and further approving the purchase and installation of specialty upfitting equipment for the sign truck from Stam Manufacturing of Fort Pierce, Florida, in the amount of $65,650. Uh, uh, we apologize for the convoluted nature of this municipal order, but we, we uh, wanted to get it right, and, and we need your wisdom to... Uh, try to make sure we get it right. Uh, and, and then we're here to purchase, and under this municipal order, essentially three trucks, which you have already approved. In that uh, procurement process, we learned uh, belatedly that Gilly Hyde uh, could not access the, the uh, F450s uh, in a V10 configuration, uh, nor deliver those until uh, next year. We did some uh, soul searching, and we would like to get these vehicles, but if the 450 wasn't available, we looked at our, our applications, and we believed that we could uh, be able to uh, fit form to function by using the 350 platform. Uh, that can be done either through uh, rejecting all these bids and going out to a rebid, or using uh, the state purchasing uh, apparatus which is out of Frankfurt. Uh, we here tonight recommend that we use the state purchasing as well as to do the fit up of, of the sign vehicle. Um, Marilyn is here if you need a more in-depth explanation of the purchasing uh, uh, involved in this. It's just like the Dodge Journey that we came by last time they're just not making this 450 for a while. Like, uh, We spend a lot of money on, on microphones. We want to use them. <laughs> That's right. I'm Marilyn Perigen, purchasing agent for the city of Bowling Green. And to answer your question, yes, they are not being manufactured at this time. The F-450, evidently supply and demand ran so great that they have a shortage of uh, supply of the V-10 engines. They've shut down that production. They're going to retool that production. And therefore, the next production will be in approximately one year. So if, if we were to rebid, how long would that process take if you were just not to do that and start over again? with? Basically, it? if we start over again, let me back up for a minute and say on the F-350 that we determined we can use, if we placed it on order, it's still going to take three months to get that vehicle. It's two months of manufacturing, then another month of upfitting of special beds. If we start with the bidding process, the bidding process can take two to three months based on uh, posting it on the website getting the bids in, going through the evaluation, and then bringing it in for an award. So we're looking at extending the lead time from three months out to six months. And these were initially approved for, for ordering back in October. So we're already behind two months. 
How does the cost compare? The 350s are less expensive than the 450s. Right. We so will we'll be saving, be I think, saving. think about $21,000. Meets the needs or modified needs? It meets minimum requirements. You know, there's always a desire for more because to do the job, to do the extra jobs, it's good to have the extra power, but the 350 will meet the minimum requirements. Any other comments or questions? I saw on the floor we're accepting the rejection of the previous bid and selecting the next bid, which is state pricing contract. Correct, as well as uh, uh, starting the outfitting of the one vehicle that we already have previously approved, but now we have to put it on a 350 platform, which will be seamless without cost, cost differential. So our choices was start all over or go with state purchasing. So we'll leave that up to you. But, uh, state purchase will get the product here in a little more reasonable time. Yes, we'll say three months. Mm -hmm. And the vehicles and the vehicles are, are usable as they are. Yes, sir. They meet the needs. Yes, sir, that's what I've been told. If you would like to hear from Chris Crow, who's responsible for the actual, uh, you know, form meeting function, that would be, uh, Chris is here if you would like to hear from him. I would just like to know in a few months, are we gonna get a request for a 450 and saying that the 350s aren't doing the job? <laughs> Come on up, Chris, you've been, we've laid the gauntlet down. There you go. I'm Chris Crow, fleet manager for the city. Um, I can't answer that. It, 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 what it has been is it's been back on to the manufacturer. Uh, Gilly Hyde won the first bid, and the word of the supply and demand, the lack of supply, came down through through Gilly Hyde. Uh, I've inquired with, uh, with Gilly Hyde local dealers and others as far as uh, indication, and uh, they simply say they don't know. Ford runs out, they cut it off at that point in time. I doubt it. I, I don't think that will happen, but I, I can't tell you for I, sure, no. I think uh, the question was whether staff, you, oh, and I'm the sorry. department will, will come back and say, uh, 350 is not good, gotcha. we need a 450. My answer is no, no. we want to hear it from you. No, we won't. I, I uh, consulted with Ford, and I just consulted with the upfitter, Stan Manufacturing. And uh, to make sure that the the upfitting would you know the truck was heavy enough, axles, load range, gross vehicle weight, that kind of thing, and, and it is surety through them. So, no, we won't be coming back requesting for it. Okay. Anything else? All right, thank you. I guess we're ready to vote. So please call the roll. The yes, the yes vote is to reject the previous bid. Yeah, as the, the municipal order bid. is written. Yes. Yes. Williams. Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Municipal Order 2016-8. Municipal Order approving a contract through cooperative purchase with Crossroads Ford of Frankfort, Kentucky under the Kentucky State Pricing Contract for the purchase of a truck for the Parks and Recreation Department Landscape Division in an amount not to exceed $45,450.60. So moved. Second. By Hill and second by Perigen. We had another vehicle in, in the budget that you approved that involved uh, the park uh, <coughs> landscape division. Uh, since we learned that the 450 is not available, we're here to ask you to accept uh, the 350 and for time's sake, and uh, we would use the state purchasing con contract for this purchase. Again, Marilyn and Chris is here uh, to answer any questions. Comments or questions? Erigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Municipal Order 2016-9. Municipal Order approving contracts through cooperative purchase with various vendors under Kentucky State Pricing Contract for the purchase of Bridgestone, Firestone, and Goodyear tires for the Public Works Department Fleet Division in an amount not to exceed $78,000. So moved. Second. Second by Williams. Uh, one of the uh, nicer marriages uh, of local business with a competition is, is when the state pricing is used and uh, our local companies bid and win the bid. And this is the case here with the municipal order number nine, four of our local companies, BNR, SNR, BG Muffler, and KY Tire Exchange are part of the 
cooperative bid for the, the various uh, tire uh, that will be used, Bridgestone, Firestone, or Goodyear. Uh, we expect to use uh, 78 grand worth of tires across the whole company. Uh, what we will use, when we use, will depend on you know, when they blow out and what, what's available. But at least we have four different <coughs> companies using three different products who uh, can access this bid from the city. Comments or questions? Please call the roll. Sturgeon? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. I'm done with y'all, so feel free to stick around if you want to. Uh, first reading of uh, ordinance BG 2016, number one. Ordinance rezoning real estate. Ordinance rezoning a tract of land containing 0 0.5176 acre from RM3 multifamily residential to CB Central Business, located at 1202 State Street, presently owned by Vilson and Ariana Jahaya. So moved. Second. Motion by Hill. Second. Uh, Mayor uh, Steve, Nick Warder is here. Uh, to answer any of your questions that you may have uh, with this one as well as number 11. Brother Steve is here tonight. Appreciate you coming. Uh, we've had an opportunity to review the packet. It was an 11-0 vote. So any comments or questions? Arigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Ordinance, first reading of ordinance BG 2016, number two. Ordinance rezoning real estate, ordinance rezoning a tract of land containing 7.63 acres from RS1A single family <coughs> residential and F floodplain to PUD planned unit development and F floodplain located at 1128 Cave Mill Road, presently owned by Bowling Green Senior Living LLC. So moved. Second. Motion by Bill. Second. Real from planning and zoning. It was 11 and 0 vote. Any comments or questions? Please call the roll. Arigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. First reading of ordinance BG 2016 number three. Ordinance amending code of ordinances. Ordinance amending chapter two administration subchapter 2-6 Department of Finance and chapter 25 Code of Ethics subchapter 25-12 Financial Disclosure of the City of Bowling Green Code of Ordinances to make administrative revisions. So moved. Second. Motion by Hill. Second by Williams. Thank you, Mayor. This is a, essentially a housekeeping item. It's always comforting that uh, when our ordinance reflect reality. Uh, for many years in our finance department, we had the position of comptroller. Uh, we felt that we needed to reorganize that department, and we've created the position of assistant chief financial officers under Jeff's tutelage, and so we wanted to reflect that uh, in these uh, ordinances. Uh, Jeff, you want to add anything? Answer questions. Well, well said. <laughs> Please call the roll. Arigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. For 2000. Municipal order approving the display of framed and name-plated picture boards recognizing athletes from High Street School and State Street School in the F.O. Moxley Community Center as presented by the High Street School, State Street School Athletic History Committee. Move. Second. Noted. I know. <laughs> yeah, that one. Motion by L. Second by Denny. I, I, <laughs> last month month meeting we had, I think, with all with all, a lot of pride, uh, presentation of uh, a representation of uh, athletic photographs from the old High Street and State Street schools. Uh, Mr. Denning uh, asked us to memorialize that in a, a more substantial. Uh, public action by you all. Uh, that action is before you. If you would like to amend it, uh, there is certain limitations to what we can tie future commissions to, but this is, I think, strong, as well as it reflects your political will, and I, I don't think other commissions will change it. Uh, Mr. Denning, you want to add any comment? Yes. Let, let me ask, should we put in the caption here, uh, State Street, high school, all black, high street high school, all black school. Gene, you wanna, we'll do whatever you because want. Because somebody to. coming, somebody going down there reading that, well, let's put the pictures aside. But 
if you go out here and talk to the average person on the street, uh, they don't know anything about Bone Green, uh, State Street or High Street. I want to make sure and tell me if I'm wrong to have an insert to where anyone reads this will know those were segregated schools. But you do your research by the title rather than what's in the body of the thing, don't you? We do both. We can do a search that pulls up the entire body of the municipal order itself, um, but we could certainly add something if you'd like to amend the municipal order title. And I'm not sure the proper wording of that, but maybe we could do something where it says um, recognizing the athletes of the um, all black or segregated schools, high street school and state street school, if that would be appropriate. We can also put someplace in body as well too. Yes. Can we do that now or do we have to wait? They can amend it from, can the from the floor now. Basically, if you want to, just make some kind of amendment. If you want to uh, leave it to our discretion, if you want to do where we place that different language and approve it as amended. I mean, just, just this is a housekeeping change. There's nothing substantive being changed. As amended? Um, I would like the insert somewhere in the caption uh, that these two schools were all black high schools during the segregated area, era of uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, as I said, without somebody seeing the picture and they just read the names of the two schools, uh, they wouldn't know whether they were integrated school systems or a segregated school system. Uh, the key point that I would love to be made is that these two schools uh, were all black high schools in the history of the city of Bowling Green. So ever how we need to word it, Okay. Uh, one, one other thing I'd just like to say is, again, our thanks to the committee for putting all this together. They did a wonderful job, great pictures, and uh, appreciate them preserving that history. And identifying the people in the picture. Yes, well, that was work. a job. Yeah. Uh, you know, of some work. of those pictures uh, back in uh, the 40s of some of the older students and athletes, and back during that time, uh, those teams, whether it's football or basketball, played Evansville, Indiana, Chicago, anywhere there was a black school, uh, those guys uh, played them. Uh, Nashville, Pearl, um, they, had, they had to travel. I told somebody not too long ago, uh, the way we traveled at High Street, High Street School was open in 1954, and I was in the first grade, I guess, second, whatever. Uh, I had never been on a yellow school bus until I became a, a city commissioner here in Bowling Green because we traveled in a different type bus. I'm sure we paid a, a good little amount for it, but we traveled in a Greyhound type bus, uh, not a yellow school bus. but. I, I'm just thinking that somebody 75 years from now can go and look at those pictures and look at the history of what had taken place in the city of Bone Green. Thank you. Comments? Please call the roll. This is on the amendment. Okay. Perigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Okay, so amendments approved and now. Vote unless there's further discussion, a vote on the municipal order as amended. Erigen? Yes. Williams? Yes. Denning? Yes. Hill? Yes. Wilkerson? Yes. Okay. No vote. That's the end of our scheduled meeting, or excuse me, our next scheduled meeting is January 19th at uh, 4.30 p.m. I invite you to tune in. Uh, we have a closed session with no vote. Thank you very much. Get to go home for supper.